welcome to episode two of the Shop With Me series, the Financially Independent SLP audio vlog mini-series. Today we're going to Dollar Tree. I love this store. You can buy this out of your own money or you can convince your administrator to use their account or you can go through the rehabilitation department's budget. So we're going to talk about going uh, shopping for a reduced cost at Dollar Tree. Here I am arriving at the store. Now, once I go inside, I just kind of go up and down each and every aisle. I love the craft sticks. I do a lot with tongue depressors. Um, I have something called the crossbar that I use. And if that's something you want to see in a video, just comment down below. I like to use this for um, oral motor exercises, labial closure, articulation. I've used this for different communication modalities and swallowing. I like Dollar Tree because it encompasses the entire SLP scope of practice. You can find anything here that can really uh, low-tech utilize yourself with the, um, with the domains of speech. I just put about like everything here. Um, you can get different games that you can use as activities individually or things that you can use as prizes. You'll see like balls, small little games, um, hoops, uh, wooden games. You'll see uh, very functional types of bingo, vehicle bingo, road sign bingo. I mean, you can do, use that for adults. You can use that for youth as well. Um, I've used that with truckers who were trying to recall what they would see when driving down the road. There's lots of different artwork. I've used that with people who paint or people just that are just working on sustained attention, focused attention, motor skills if I'm collaborating or co-treating with them, occupational therapy. If I'm doing sequencing or like hands-on activities, sometimes we'll build things. We'll build like little bird houses, bird feeders, um, little wooden houses, chests, frames. Sometimes we'll add in their family members and we'll add in the names of the family members if they're working on word retrieval or recalling family members' names or staff names, it really depends on the person. I like the fact that Dollar Tree has, they have stencils, they have a countless amount of stickers. And again, you can use that as an incentive system, rewards, you can use that as um, focus, things that you would use it for. Scrapbooking, that kind of a thing. There's crayons, there's tons of activity books. You know, there's a whole school section that you can use in the school environment for like Dr. Seuss Day. You can do different um, words, common core words for certain standards. They have different languages sometimes depending on the store that you go to. Activity books, they have regular books for reading, recipes, different subjects. So you can pull a lot of vocabulary out of their, their book section. Checking out the books, you can find some really good items here. For the patients that are working on chap recalling chapters and reading more novels, you can do that as well. I'm just showing you the different things that I use or the different items I use. I use a lot of dye. It's very easy to turn a dye into a game. And you're going to see floral, like I'll show you what I use in the floral items. Sometimes we'll do like flower arrangements. I might arrange uh, flowers in a certain way and then I'll ha take a picture of it or I'll have it physically there and then have the person try to copy and do the same rearrangement. It's a very creative way to work with somebody who may have had experience with gardening and you're still working on sequencing or memory. You can take it away and have them do that from memory as well. So I like to do that as well. There's so many different creative things you can do as part of your treatment goal. They have timers where you can actually um, time them. Like maybe you have asked them a question and they have a certain time to answer that question or you give them a series of items and then you set the timer and then they have to use space retrieval to recall those items after that timer is done. Sometimes they have like a lot of fun magnets and uh, phrases. I use a lot of index cards. I try to stay away from very boring worksheets. So sometimes I will take a Sharpie or a marker or a colorful pen and I will write the different worksheet activities out on index cards and then laminate the index cards. And then it feels more like an interactive game when it's all I did was turn a worksheet into a bunch of index, index cards. You'll see folders, organizers, sometimes for the patients who are hard of hearing or they just really li they like positive reinforcement, I'll use the little, um, you'll see little cones where I'll have like a well done or terrific or good job. They like to see that. So sometimes I'll take that to let them know that, oh, you, you know, you did great without me interrupting what they're saying. 
Again, I like to do different things. You might be able to get different sand, different stones and marbles, have them sort things out in layers. You might mix it all up and then have them take it out and sort it into individual piles of alike or different. You might have them doing patterns, but I'm literally showing you what I use them for. You'll see dye that are, they're dry erase dyes. So what I do is I'll write temporal orientation information on there and I'll write the date, the month, the year, the time, and I'll have them roll it and whatever it lands on, they have to say what it says. But what I like about it is it erases as you continue rolling. So eventually they have to remember the answers. So it's a great way to work on temporal orientation without just sitting there asking the same boring, what time is it, what day is it, what month is it? It's boring. So there's a lot of different things that I use. Obviously construction paper, I have that on hand. I like to use the colorful clipboards that uh, Dollar Tree has available. I like to use their giant letters. You're gonna see packs of letters that they have like different, I'll, I'll spell out a long word like transportation, decoration, and then I'll have them rearrange the letters into smaller words. I also do that with a, a Scrabble slam cards. Um, that'll be another video, but I use that as well. But I like to use these for thought organization, sequencing, things of that nature. Or if we're doing target items like phonemic awareness or spelling. Again, earlier I mentioned about creating like little bird feeders or little building little houses or something. You can use the wood glue that's at the store. It really depends on the person. But um, I really like the things that they have here. It's very creative, it's very unique, and it's fun. So thank you for shopping with me at Dollar Tree.